हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज चिन्मय देशपांडे इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट मेथड्स व्हिच इज यूज्ड टू सॉल्व ऑर्डिनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एंड व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीस थ्री मेथड्स दैट इज टेलर सीरीज मेथड यूलर्स मेथड एंड आर के मेथड सो दिस विल बी अ वन क्वेश्चन दैट माइट बी आस्क ड्यूरिंग ओरल एग्जामिनेशन व्हाट आर द एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ टेलर सीरीज मेथड नाउ इफ यू सी this method gives you a straight forward adaptation of a classic to develop the solution as an infinite series it's a powerful single step method if we are able to find successive derivatives only so the main hurdle if you see in case of uh, taylor series method is we need to find it out derivatives if one knows how to find it out derivatives it's okay but if function which is to be given f of x comma y if it involves some complicated algebraic structure then it will be very difficult to calculate higher order derivatives it becomes tedious and hence the method will fail for example suppose if i have a equation f of x comma y or function is x plus y it's okay but if i have a function like this square root of x cube plus y square now in this case we should know how to find it out derivative of this particular function then only we will be able to solve the problem by using taylor series method easily so i can say this will be a major drawback of calculation of derivative terms which is not easy the task is a tedious so we can say this will be a demerit and that's why instead of going for taylor series method one can use euler method or rk method now next question might be asked why rk method is better as compared to that of taylor series method because already we have seen that in case of runge kutta or rk method it is not required to find it out any kind of derivatives no need to go for a higher order derivative wherever in a taylor series method we have to find it out it as the differential equation used in the application are most commonly complicated the calculation of a derivatives may be difficult and therefore we can go for a rk method because it gives you a correct answer without having any derivative terms now the next question can be asked is nothing but what are the special advantages of rk method over a taylor series method so this is what is the uh, special advantage no need to have a prior calculation of higher order derivatives in case of runge kutta method so this was the uh, we can say this was demerit of taylor series method but this is the advantage of runge kutta method again if the same question is asked compare taylor series method then in the same way you have to give the answer now uh, if the question is asked what are the advantages of euler's method so if you see euler's method is very simple and direct because formula is easy y1 equal to y0 plus h into f of x0 comma y0 so it is a single line formula very easy formula one can remember it and just you have to substitute whatever will be a complicated function just you have to substitute your initial value that is x0 and y0 but if you see there are few disadvantages also to the euler's method every coin has a two sides so the disadvantage is it is less accurate and it is numerically unstable so you will ask me when it will be less accurate when the value of h is more then accuracy will be less so we can say that more the value of h lesser will be accuracy of this method so the aim is to keep the value of h is as small as possible in order to achieve accuracy so here it is written a good approximation is obtained with a very small value of h then what are the disadvantages of taylor series method already we have gone through it we need to find it out derivatives of higher order term then successive terms get very complex and hard to derive there might be some chances of round off errors and truncation error which disturbs whole calculation because here uh, generally we will consider only up to third order of a derivative we cannot go beyond that otherwise the complications will be there in the calculation and if you see it is very time consuming and a lengthy process for solving ordinary differential equation so this video tells about what is the basic difference between rk method euler's method taylor series method so it is observed that if you prioritize the methods 
which will be easy so i can say that first method which is easiest method is nothing but rk method wherein there is no need to find it out any derivatives second one is nothing but a eulers method wherein lesser the value of h you will get good accuracy and third we can say most difficult method if a function is very complex like this is nothing but a taylor series method because here in this method we have to find it out higher order derivatives thank you for watching this video